What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am very excited about this. I got two lightsabers to unbox. Now the other one's not here yet, but don't worry. I'm gonna show it off in this video. But this is, uh, both of them are from Art Sabers, and my brother also got one. I don't know if he'll uh, show it off or not. So this is the black VL Saber Baselet for heavy dueling. Here we go. It says we get a display stand, a toolkit, our instruction manual, the blades in here, and the lightsaber itself, baby. Let's start off with the saber itself. Oh, this thing's got, this thing's hefty. This has got some weight to it. Oh my gosh. This, this thing looks awesome. This saber right here, I got this one from Imperial Workshops and uh, this is a NeoPixel. These that I got right here, they're baselet, so they won't have as many cool functionality as the NeoPixel, but they'll still they are still sick. The toolkit. Let's see. Oh, we got gloves in here. I mean, too late. I kind of touched it without gloves already. But yeah, we get a uh, the leather. You can wrap leather, um, this in leather, which I think I'll do that. That I like the look of it. What do we got here? Oh, the plaque for the stand. Got the charger in here with the uh, Allen key. And yeah, that's it for the, um, the tool kit. Now, let's look at the stand. The stand, I'm excited for it because I do not have a stand for my other lightsaber. Then I come with one. All right, there's the blade. So, here is the stand, probably have to put it together. Looks pretty sick. Let's put it on in there. Oh yeah, put that on your shelf. That will look sick. Let's see, does this one fit as well? Yes, sir. There we go. All right, let's lay this to the side. Now, the fun part, putting the blade in. We haven't got the blade out yet. This is noticeably lighter than my NeoPixel blade, which makes sense because there's no, um, you didn't know NeoPixel blades have LEDs all throughout the blade. So that's what makes the blade heavy. And it's not good for dueling because it like shakes and uh, the LEDs can get broken. But I actually got these lightsabers for my movie, partly, um, for filming that. So these can take a beating. Case in point, we gotta get the pill. Please be satisfied. Well. Mwah. Satisfying. I don't know if you guys can hear this. I hope you can, but. Yes, sir. All right, so we just got the blade in and from swinging it around just a little bit already, it is a lot lighter than this one. Like this one over here, probably, I might weigh it, but this feels around maybe three pounds four pounds somewhere around there this is like maybe two so it's only because of the blade difference that's this is why this one feels so heavy but this one this one will be good for swinging it around spinning it really fast can't wait to do the spin test on this now one thing that i do not like about this which i just noticed is on that saber it has a little um plug so you can charge your battery so you don't have to take the saber apart the charging ports right here which not a big deal but just a minor inconvenience compared to my other one it's on oh yeah baby 
purple lightsaber. Yo, this looks sick. Even though it's baselet, it's still pretty bright. And the smooth swing action, let's see. Oh my gosh. It has, it has gesture controls. Let's go. All right, guys, we're outside for the spin test. We got it on blue. Let's give it a spin. Pretty good. Wow, you can get that really fast. Now I'm spinning this around. I got my knee pistol back there. I'll show that in a second. But this is so much lighter, so you can get so much more speed out of it. Yeah, I can do the Obi Annie a little better with this saber because it's lighter and you can get more speed out of it. Ah. You see, I'm not good at it. Yeah, that's another thing. It'll do like a blaster thing out of nowhere, but you can turn that off. So let me go through the settings. It got, has gesture controls, which is really nice. So one press of the button and it blinks. My volume. That's volume. Then two presses. I really like this feature. One, two. You get your sound font. So this is Obi Wan sound font. And you just do it again. The butcher. The butcher sound font. So, and to change it to uh, different colors, you turn it on, you hold the button, and flick it. So that's red. So this, this looks sick. Ow! Would be dead right there in real life in lightsaber combat. I gotta get the hand switching down more. Yeah, you can get this going really fast compared to the Neo Pixel. And then three clicks. One, two, three. You can it plays music. So yeah, that's cool. And you can turn the lightsaber on. So it plays music while you're doing the lightsaber. Grip, it will unscrew. So if you're spinning it really fast, it'll get loose, which I don't like that too much, but it's all right. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can change it to flashing by holding it up, then twisting it again. It'll be a pulsing blade. So like kind of movie accurate, I guess you could say. And then you just do it again, regular blade. There's like a till, there's like a light blue. Green, some Luke Skywalker action. By the way, guys, I'm practicing my moves for the movie. Get the spin action up to par because last time it was okay, but we need more spinny. I call it spinny. Spinny action and movement. I love this one. It's the Vader. You always gotta like purple. I can tell the blade kind of cracks a little bit. I mean, it is kind of cold outside. So that's one thing you gotta be careful when dueling. Do not duel when it's cold because the blades will break easier because it's PVC. Oh, orange color like Balin Skull. Pretty sick. Force is with you, young Skywalker, but you are not a Jedi yet. Ah, oh, it's so sick, bro. The flash on clash, it's on right now, which that can be cool. But if you want to turn it off, you hold it until four clicks. Nice off. You can turn it off. So sometimes it's good. You can still use it on the button though. Motion control off. Five clicks is motion control off, which I like to keep it on because of gesture controls. All right, this is the baselet in my left hand. 
and this is the NeoPixel. So noticeably brighter. Yeah, much noticeably brighter. But I mean, for baselit, this is really good. NeoPixel has individual um, LEDs in it. So I mean, of course it's gonna be a lot brighter, but for, ba for baselit, I'm actually pretty happy about this. Let's see if we can do a Ahsoka, some Ahsoka action. What's up boys? We got the Luke Skywalker here. Lightsaber, I'm so excited to unbox this. But first, my brother got his lightsaber in. Do you like to come show it off? Mm-hmm. Princess. Princess Leia. All right, here we go. Sheesh. Sheesh. All right, so here's what's in the box. We get the saber itself, a blade plug, and a charger. So not quite as nice as the other one. We're gonna stand with it and um, gloves and all that, but that's okay. Oh, this is a heavy saber, bro. This is heavy. This looks so much like Luke's actual saber, too. All right, so we got some gloves on. I don't want to get fingerprints on it. It's going to happen eventually, though. But this thing is beautiful. Oh yeah, and it's got the uh, belt clip as well, so you can put it on your belt. That will look so sick. It's got four retention screws, so very stable blade. So as you can see, this is a very beautiful saber and very movie accurate as well. The only thing it doesn't have on it is the box that Luke has. But I think that'll get in the way of spinning it. I think this saber should be really good for spinning and dueling as well because of these grooves on it. It makes it um, good for grip. I like this gold on here. It's a nice and shiny gold. Some of these sabers have a darker gold on them. But yeah, overall, this saber is beautiful. It's so nice. So to charge it, all you have to do is unscrew the bottom and then there is the charging port right there. All right, let's get another satisfying pill. Another one. Yes, sir, there we go. Another, another one. one. Again, very satisfying. All right guys, so we got the blade in and I cannot believe how beautiful this saber looks, bro. I've always wanted a replica and Luke Skywalker's saber is definitely my top three favorite Star Wars lightsabers of all time. So this is so exciting for me, but let's turn it on. Oh my gosh. Bro. For a baselet, this looks really good. Bro, I know I got this partly for my movie to duel with, but I don't even, bro, I don't even want to use this for my movie, bro. It's so nice. This is definitely going on display. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. Purple, baby. We gotta find Luke Skywalker's fawn. What is Luke Skywalker's saber without his fawn? Okay, the red in this looks sick. I don't know what it is about it. Alright, let's take this baby outside for a spin test. Hey guys, sorry. It's probably been about three months since I recorded the last part of this video. 
I've just been lazy and haven't recorded the spin test for the Luke Skywalker lightsaber. But here it is. Um, it's basically like the other one. The controls and the board is a little bit different. But here, let's go ahead and do the spin test. Ow. Oh, it's going to be in the video. I hit myself really hard. I mean, yeah, it spins pretty good, to be honest. The grooves on this saber that I talked about earlier are give you good grip on it, but it also kind of hurts your hands a little bit to spin it. But once you uh, get used to it, it's good. So this saber's a little bit different than the other one. You hold the um, button to get another font. And it's the color and the sound font all together. Got some purple action here. And it's got gesture controls, of course. It's got blaster deflect. Dark Saber, bro. This is pretty cool. Here we go. What you've all been waiting for. Luke Skywalker's font on his saber. Oh, it is so sick. Not only does it look really cool, the sound, bro. Yeah, this thing is so sick, bro. I gotta admit. Here's the bracelet. Here's the NeoPixel. So you can see the NeoPixel is much brighter. And the NeoPixel is also quite a bit heavier because of the blade. It's got the LEDs in it. That's what makes it a lot more heavier. So if you want for display, I definitely recommend the um, NeoPixel, but for dueling, and more play, probably just get the um, bracelet. This font's really cool. It switches the colors up. But I gotta say for spinning, I like the bracelet more because it's a little bit lighter. This one you gotta put more effort into it. Yeah, you see, as you can see, it's much slower to spin around. I'm getting rained on right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know if you want me to do more reviews like this. These sabers are beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I really enjoy them. So, thank you guys so much for watching. May the force be with you, always.